Welcome. This whole thing is it's part of my service learning project that I'm doing in my, my ethical decision making class. It's part of my doctorate program. Right now I'm in my second year. I just finished my first semester along with the expert opinions of Dr. Darren Garner and Julius Scott. We were able to articulate Dr. Lisa Thompson's value curriculum and also articulate the flip class discussions from the syllabus. Examples were given as such. Violence in the media and films influencing unethical decision making and accepting what all media projects as normal can initiate problematic unethical behaviors. Basically, that was just one of the examples that we gave media and film, and how it portrays violence. With that, okay, the social workers, here's the part that they play. And once the child was pretty much adjudicated or whatever, okay, they began to get the opinions and the expert opinions of social workers, i.e. like Dr. Thorne, okay? Dr. Thorne with his license in social work and also his education in juvenile justice, he is then the expert in court. Okay. Sometimes he had to show up to court and give his expert opinion based upon the brevity of the situation at hand. As a jury? No, no, no. As an expert, as a witness. Okay. Expert witness. Okay. Now, okay, there's a psychology that's involved in that. Okay. Research has shown that the early you let children, I will say, play games. Violence that are attached shooting violence, okay, like grand theft auto, violence against women, violence against the community, then the child will begin to internalize that violence and accept that and, and begin to accept that behavior as being normal. Okay? When in fact let them, it's not this project was done with hopes to increase awareness of ethical decision making in our youth today. We try to convey the message of ethics and how it ties in the hope which gives purpose and goal driven standards that we accept and do not accept as educational leaders.